planet Earth's evolution through the period known as the dinosaur period. A time when strange, unusual looking creatures were dominating the planet. And all of a sudden, all of them just disappearing. So I was wondering why they didn't reappear. If the evolution of the living organism, its logical nature sequence, then appearance of dinosaurs should not be ending just like that. But look at the history. Dinosaurs are gone and other type of creatures coming up. Of course, we try to feed them into the mutation, but mutation from what? Let's make a step backwards to the planet that we try to adapt. No living form lived on that planet. No bacterial environment. Most important thing is a bacterial environment. We're going to implement a biological form. As big biological form is, as more biological energy it can produce. So biological form producing enormous amount much more than it's So, we would create a creature in big sizes, inhabit them on large coverage and make them live for a while in order biological life to be sustainable. And after a while, when they fulfill their duty, we don't need them anymore. All you need is just little bacteria and viruses. They will do their work. And then after that, when the planet is enriched with microscopic living form, you can start to implement a variety of animals. And then at the end of that, whenever that part is ready, then you implement human. So that's why human is the latest implementation on this planet. It's not the oldest creature, it's the youngest creature. But meanwhile, there were experiments. How human should look like? what kind of properties, talents, gifts that new creature should have. There were a number of races before this human sapiens appeared, and there were civilizations that all of a sudden disappeared. Atlantis, for example. No one saw them, but everyone knows about them. How come? Just because of little world of some Greek philosopher, a non-conscious memory, strange, no proof, but we all believe it's true. So those civilizations were experimental civilizations. We're gonna need time to figure out the most appropriate, suitable, strong form that can sustain evolution, not the human race evolution, planet Earth evolution, which is much more important. Today's modern human thinks that he dominates the planet. Quite an arrogant opinion. The planet always dominates. The planet doesn't belong to us. We belong to it. What I just said. It's not going with modern today's philosophy. Human creature thinks he's a king of the nature. Human being king of the young creature. You can compare with 16 years old teenager. Just 150 years ago, we had no idea what electricity is. Then, when you turn 16, the teenager had been faced with a computer. The teenager spent its time mainly playing with it, enjoying emotionally, but with new type of emotions. How can the teenager call his new experience? Spirituality? Absolutely, yes. that's exactly how human race call new experiences without even understanding that got nothing to do with it. What spirituality is, we will be talking in the next shows. Still, we're 16 years old race, actually young race. Soon we're going to turn 20 when the obligations are coming obligations towards ourselves when we have to start to learn not who we are how are we constructed that part of human evolution very interesting when we touch for the first time in our history something we use frequently and 
something we have no idea how does it look like and where it lies called consciousness.